Okay, um, it is November 14th. It is our uh, November director meeting, and uh, we just Facebook lived on the team page pinning our new directors for the month, month of October that promoted on November 1st to our Share the Love Board. Um, so here, I guess I'll show it again for the recording. Um, now, something I, the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is if you have not created your own vision board of some sort, I highly, highly encourage you to do it. And I know that Lindsay did, because she just shared that with me this week, I think. She was like, here we go, I've got this all started. And I, Lindsay, I love that you did that without me even prompting you with it. Um, I know that Anne has one, because that was part of her lead pro um, program homework. Uh, it was one of the things that she's being trained as um, being able to be in the lead program. And what I, what I think is so important of having that vision board is um, a lot of times we know what we want, but we might not necessarily know how big we want it. And um, it is so important for your team to catch that vision, okay, for your team to understand. I think, and the first time I shared it, I felt like I was super awkward because I was like, are they all being like, so she's just saying, hey, I want to get to this level, so you better fill up these. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of self-conscious. You're like, oh my gosh, more people thinking about it. But it's about that the more people that we help, the more that we're going to get. Okay, like there is no doubt that you guys are doing amazing things and benefiting from this company. And yes, are your advanced directors benefiting from it? Sure. Am I benefiting from it? Sure. Okay, but it's 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 a win-win for sure. And so being able to see that, I think when I shared that at the first meetings, people started being like, I want on that board. You know, and they started being able to picture what would directorship do for them? What would growing a team um, do for them? Uh, how, you know, do they picture themselves alongside the other leaders in, in, the, in the business? Do they see themselves being able to get that substantial amount of income? Um, I mean, all of you is, let's see. Oh, yeah, because everybody here, from, yeah, everybody here promoted this month, okay? Um, and so being able to see that, that's amazing, okay? Um, I assume that you noticed a significant difference in your paycheck, or at least was like, yep, there was a difference, okay? It wasn't quite the same as, you know, the months without it. Whether that as it was as a director being um, a in your activity bonus and your three percent bonus for the first time, whether that was as an advance moving up to four percent of a bonus, um, and then just your sales, your team sales were higher because you're working towards organizational sales all of a sudden instead of just team sales. Okay, that makes a big difference. I'm gonna say I noticed a difference on my paycheck. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, being able to be like, hey, sometimes they, our team just needs to know, it's not in our pocket. Like, there's, there's a significant difference between when you're able to get that jump. Um, did you guys all get your product samples? Okay. Everybody get them? Kylie, is that what you said? Oh. All right, I'm yelling at the computer. I think it's because I'm so worried that my audio has been really weird, and so my students have been telling me, like, we can hear you. It's like, it's like quiet. And I'm like, ah. So I'm like, do I need to talk like this? Okay. Um, <laughs> my husband just put the kids in a bed. like, why are you screaming? Um, <laughs> be loud and I'm excited. Um, so I want you to think of some way to um, think of the way that you would like a vision board. Now, here's the deal. If any of you are in a panic because you're like, I'm not crafty, you will notice I like being crafty. I'm not crafty and I don't have time to be crafty. Okay. Um, but I did, so I went, I went to the dollar store and I picked up shape and I picked out some letters. Now, would I have liked the board to not be white in the background? Yes. Did Walmart have any other options? Um, but you know, don't worry about it having to be too significant or too huge. Um, coming up with some sort of <laughs> My husband's a little awkward. <laughs> I'll snort because he went by. I asked my, my husband's carrying some boxes. No. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm going to repeat it here, guys. If you missed it, you were probably better off. Um, but for, uh, you know, just something simple where they can picture themselves on there. But one of the most common um, themes that is taught are houses. Okay? And had I been able to find houses at the dollar store or been crafty enough to print off houses, that's what I would have done. And because the idea of having um, houses and having like first street, second street and third street 
um, you know, so first gen, second gen, and third gen, is the fact that it's kind of this idea of like, here's the deal, I'm your director right now, okay? You can come and live with me all you want. You come to my meetings, you come hang out in my house, okay? And you know what? It is more fun to hang out at my house when you bring a friend, okay? When you join people on your team, you know, so team leaders, they're bringing friends to my house, but they don't have their own house yet. Okay? A team leader is starting to invite people, or a senior consultant is starting to invite people, but they still, they're not independent, they don't live on their own, okay? Eventually, there's a time in everybody's life, usually, when they decide, you know what, this is fun, but I want my own house. I'm ready to move out, Mom. Okay? And so they go out, and they get their own little director house, and they get their own little director team. Okay? And then they do the same thing. They keep inviting their friends and going through. Um, now, some people on your team, you know what, they will be always be happy to live in your house. And that is just fine. What is you know, they will always be happy to live in your house. And you know what? We need people who are always happy to live in our house. Okay? We need those um, consultants that are performers to provide team sales for our organization and to be our next people to maybe just be consistent uh, at people that are active, okay? um, consistent people that come to team meetings. Maybe their time will come where they want to ride up the ladder. Maybe it won't. And we want to be able to support, uh, support them in that. Um, I have several people on our team that they've been on it for a long time and they are happy and I love celebrating with them and you know their time hasn't come where they don't want to necessarily move up. I'm not going to complain. I have got somebody submitting $2,000 a month in sales and they're happy to do it. Okay. You know, like, um, now do I hope for them because I know all the benefits of directorship and things like that that they would move up? Of course they would. Okay. Um, but we want to be able to meet them where they're at. But sometimes our team depends on us being able to paint that picture or paint that vision. I mean, several of you guys on this board, I remember your eyes lighting up or you started claiming hearts and things like that, being like, I'm over there, I'm doing it, uh, before we even got um, any farther. I'm um, especially with those of you that are fast tracking and kind of understanding that idea. So I would encourage you, whether that's a digital vision, uh, a digital board, an actual display board like that, um, a piece of paper, just something that kind of has something that you can speak to your team about um, and to kind of go through and figure that out. Um, now some of you guys have, um, some of you guys have your own independent team pages also, go for it, okay? I'm not gonna say that's a requirement, but I think it's kind of a good thing for you to kind of maybe do little competitions within yourself or, you know, little drawings within your own team, sure, because you guys are the ones that are gonna be that closer-knit circle, okay? Um, just like there's a difference between my ladies that can come locally because they're here and we have wine and we cook and do things like that together, Okay, um, there's going to be a significant difference between that and um, my virtual team. Okay, so you know if you can kind of get those little niches, um, that is big. Um, if you are um, not local to another team, I would encourage you to um, connect with uh, your team members to do uh, in-person team meetings once a month if you can. Uh, you will always be welcome to my Facebook Live one and to my virtual team meeting. Um, but, and honestly, I mean I. I didn't do my own meetings for quite some time when I promoted to director. Some of that was because I moved and a lot of my team members just weren't around. Until I started getting a significant active team here, I didn't really do team meetings here, okay? Um, or I would do them like every other month. You know, something like that. You know, just something that allowed them to kind of feel connected. Um, so you're gonna wanna feel your team out to see if that is something that they are desiring or if they would feel overloaded being like, well, girl, now I gotta feel, now I feel like I have to go to the Gold Crushers one and, I, and I've got another one that says, you know, that's just that's just up to you. Um, I know that Lindsay chose to be able to do one um, in person, and that just made me happy, and it was fantastic. And I think you know, that um, camaraderie that is so important, and that connection with people is what keep people in the business. Okay? Um, something that we have really going for our team is that um, you know a lot of people, even like when we do like those opportunity events on Facebook, people comment they're like, "Well, I joined because it just kind of felt like a family." You know, they're like, it just seemed like everybody really enjoyed each other and that they were all really kind. And that is a huge compliment to us that we would be seen as um, someone who is really close, but not clicky. You know, we're welcoming, but still bonded together. Um, if people can find a job anywhere, they can find money anywhere, they can buy our product if they want. But that element of being supported, growing confidence, and getting friendships. Those are the elements that we want them to be able to find with us that they can't find elsewhere. They keep them coming back. Okay. Um, so I encourage you to have, you know, the opportunity if you do to do that. Um, Abby, Lindsay, and um, Wesley, you guys are all in Oklahoma and in the Tulsa area. So, I mean, you three would be able to power up if you wanted and kind of coordinating um, team events. If you're like, well, I've only got two people that are local, 
you know, do I really do that every month with them or what, you know, what do I do um, to be able to get some ideas or if you are going, Hey, I'm really nervous about how to do this because we're all just really new being able to team together. Um, I think is huge. Plus I think um, you'll notice also with our ability to have the numbers, when you're able to compare and be in a larger group like we have, I think we have a hundred, I mean, we have like 127 maybe team members in our organization right now. Now a couple of them, you know, some of you guys are um, new enough that you don't have people falling off yet. You know, but we typically, we lose a couple, you know, two or three consultants or whatever from their six months lapsing. Um, but I mean, we're gaining so many new members that it's definitely not uh, significant at all. Um, you're going to be having new people come in all the time. And so you want to be able to welcome them and kind of do that training where they feel that um, there is that significant culture, um, not only in our large group, but in our uh, small group also. Um, okay, let's see that. Oh, um, Lindsay, did you get that email that I sent you? The Universe Press of the latest copy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have, okay, because especially when we started exploding, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm having a really hard time keeping track of all of you, which is a fantastic problem to have. But especially those of you guys that have just promoted, I think your, your teams are growing and your consultants are recruiting. And so um, Lindsay shared this spreadsheet. And I'd just like to get some feedback for you guys how realistic it would be to keep up with this. Um, if this could be something that you would like me to help you keep accountable to track. Um, or if it was something like, whoa, Trina just went Nazi on us and I didn't sign up for this. So I'm going to have her. Oh, here. I'm going to do the post, Lindsay. Let's see what that button does. And then do you have the option to share your screen now? If you move your mouse towards the bottom, there might be like a little bar that comes up where there's a share screen. Which one do I check? Um, I usually do all the windows because then when I go away, it's not, oh crud, I'm not sharing the right screen anymore. No, well, it says share photo or document. Oh, probably document then because you'll be sharing if you open up the attachment, I guess. Oh. Or does it not allow you to share um, web? Like the internet, like Internet Explorer or Chrome? Well, I don't know. Because I mean, I can share it from my screen, but I just think it'll be, and you'll be like yelling at me where to point. Maybe I should find out that might be easier. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay, here, hold on. Let me find it. Because Lindsay created the spreadsheet, and one of the things that, I mean, like, Lindsay is great at being organized. Her personality just naturally does this. Mine wishes I did this, but I don't. And so she was like, well, here's how I've been tracking my people, especially as she was promoting, and I was like, oh, my gosh, like, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, because did, um, did you update yours at all? I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I did it. Do you want me to send you the new one? Yeah, go ahead and send me the new one, and that way you can, it'll be the most recent. If we want to keep growing our team and if we want to stay a stable, if you want to say a stable director who is qualifying every month, and especially those of you that fast tracked, um, if you are green as a director, like your team hits 5,000 and you hit 750 personal sales in three months, you're going to get, um, you are going to get a $500 bonus like another $500 bonus. So it's really important that you know how to track and do things. Um, several of you guys are working towards the cruise, right, or towards the Mexico trip. And so I want you guys to be able to know, hey, how do I track my, um, how do I track my new consultants for when they're hitting their 1250? Um, you guys have people on your downline that are going, hey, I want to fast track too. And you're going, holy cow, I just barely got my nose above water. How do I track and make sure this person doesn't fall through the cracks? Um, did you, did you send it? I'm still waiting for it. No, it's not like, I don't know. Okay, well, here, I'll just open up. Connected to my email here. I don't know. Okay, here, I'll open up. The, I'll just open up the other one, and then you should be able to. Okay. <coughs> Internet connection. Well, that's not what I want to hear. Then open this up. Open. 
you like to zoom. Let me share screen. Just Somebody's buzzing. Just thinking, apparently. I zoom is using a lot of brain power. And so are my new consultants. I probably just try to close the party and are going crazy because I'm not responding to them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chelsea and Danielle. <coughs> okay, here it goes. Okay, can you guys see my screen? I mean, obviously, Lindsay can because she's staring at me. Or um, obviously, Stephanie can because she's staring at me. Sorry. Yes, we can see it. Okay. Okay, so Lindsay, and then you just yell at me, tell me what you want me to point at or do. But if you just want to walk through this and explain kind of your purpose for having this and what you have. Okay, so at the top, and this is a work in progress, so the 90 day new consultants, I put everyone that is still in their 90 days, and um, I have their 90 day end date, and basically I'm tracking to where they need to get to 1250. So now I changed mine and I took off all, all the green are people that have hit their 1250. Mm -hmm. And then I made all the yellow are for people that were coming up on their end dates. And then the red is just tracking pretty much how far they have to go to get to 1250. And where did you, and can you tell me where do you find, where did you, what numbers did you use or what reports did you use to find these? So I run the under consultant connections and then the performance tracker. For those of you, aren't we amazing? By the way, as a side note, when I saw that come up and I was like, boom, one, two, and three. That is amazing. Okay, sorry, side note. That just blew my mind. I was like, I knew Abby was taking spot one. I had no doubt about that one. And I knew Sarah was pretty close in the running. And I was like, oh, where's she going to end up? And I was like, and the other Sarah just crept right in there for number two. Okay, so yes, and as directors, this will be something that you guys will want to be able to go in and start using these reports more. Um, especially when we're trying to track and make sure that we're helping our teammates uh, walk through things. I'm going to find a name um, the consultant reports. <coughs> okay, just telling you. Consultant connection. Oh, and please, and those of you that just re recruited, remember this today's sales report is your um, updated. Uh, every 20 minutes one. I know Sarah was asked, she's like, when do I get my consultant connection is still only updating every day. And I was like, oh, it's a different report. I'm sorry. I was like, yes, your consultant connection will always only update the next day, but we have access to this today's sales report, which allows us to see um, stats every 20 minutes, um, roughly. So that's really helpful at the end of the month. And that's why I know your guys' stats are, um, can kind of talk to you guys about that before it goes through. But then you would hit consultant connection reports. And then over on the left hand side, you see a whole bunch of different options. And you were using, which one were you using? Use the year to date. The year to date? Okay. Yeah. You're using the new consultant. Oh, you were just using, oh, so were you using these? Or just consultant connection? Oh, no, the consultant connection. Oh, okay, so she was just using her basic consultant connection, but I'm going to show you guys this a little bit so you can um, kind of filter some of your responses and stuff. You can go in and you can under your new consultant rewards program and you can pull up the people and it will show them. Because um, that's their numbers, but uh, like I can go here and I can choose. And I can choose, like, I mean, I'm, I can choose all of them. I can choose just to look at my personal team or my first or second gen. And so, like, this will pull up. This will give me their, um, their dates. So, like, these are ones that have already gone through. And it's done from um, highest to lowest or, like, most recent or whatever. So, when I go down here, I can see, like, okay, these people are still in their first 90 days. You know, here's their... Um, like orange one, I think, is a 30 end date, 30 day end date. So, like these people are my November ones. Okay, I've got a couple of Decembers. Okay, um, 
And then, you know, when we're able to go down here, <clears throat> it'll show you those numbers. It also shows you um, bonuses and things like that that they've gotten. It shows you their career sales um, or the amount of Pampered Chef dollars that they've earned and things like that also. So here's their 90 day sales. So it'll show you how to, how to mention that out. So that's a good one to be able to check also. Okay, so let's back to Excel. All these screens. Okay, so yes. So that's how you find your numbers. Okay, what else? Okay, so in the remaining column, like that has a figure plugged into, a formula plugged into it. So all I have to do is put their current sales and then it's going to tell me how much more they need to hit 1250. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to do the math for this part. She's already created the sheet. And if you were to enter your number in here and say, okay, this is how many sales, how much sales they have, it'll already show that, you know, what their deficit is. Which is really important because a lot of times people don't track or they don't know that they need to track their commissionable sales, not just guest sales, you know, or something like that. And so being like, hey, did you know that you have a week left, but you only have $143 left for your $1,250? Let's get you that free deep cover baker, you know, or whatever it might be. Yep. Or if we're tracking people for trip points. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like this, you know, knowing their 90 day end date is important. So, like, all of these, like, Jenny, Brandy, Melissa, Jacqueline, Nina, and Sherry. November would be their um, month to fast track. Okay, they would have until the end of the month. Now, good or bad, you know, so like Sherry, her 90-day end date is November 7th. Jenny's is November 29th. They both get the entire month of November. So like Sherry kind of flexed out a little bit and we're just where she landed with that. That was one of the reasons I missed Marie because I think her 90 days was on the 3rd. And she wasn't like I like she wasn't my direct recruit, and so I was just tracking her differently. And then she got a bonus, and I was like, oh, I'm the worst director ever. I didn't even realize you weren't on my list. Um, so being able to let them know that they've got that entire month to be able to do it. Okay, good. And then what's what's now you have down here? Okay, so then I have the fast track director bound, and that was just for me to keep it separate, so I could see who was still in their first 90 days, who could fast track. Mm -hmm. So it's just the same thing. I have the formulas plugged in to the personal sales, and then it's going to tell you how much they need to meet their 750. And then the team sales, and then the difference for them to meet the 5,000. And then also how many recruits they have and how many they need to get. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom where it says director bound, that's the same. It's just those are for the people that are out of their 90 days. Mm -hmm. yeah. Box to the right for the active for the month. That is just where I keep the people who have, are not active yet. So that way I know who to look at. To see if they have anything going. Mm -hmm. Like I said, and that is good. And it's good to kind of be able to figure that out because, at, you know, when you grow or when you get bigger, it's a little hard because, like, sometimes people don't care if they're active. Okay. Um, and it's hard because we're like, well, we want everybody to be active or doing something. Um, and it's it going to be extremely important. For your team, here's the deal. If they're not active during the holidays, it's going to be really, really, really hard for them to be active in January. Okay, because the excitement and the hype about the holidays are, o are um, over. And it's not that, I mean, January is going to have a fantastic host special. It's double free product. Um, it has our free for all for us to be able to earn. But it's really hard to get somebody motivated. If they weren't motivated by earning Christmas money and by um, trying to get Christmas sales, Okay, um, then they're not going to be motivated in January for free product if they want to be motivated in December for free product. You know, some of those, it is really good to just kind of keep that um, on your radar. And I, I have some people, I think the people that like when you're seeing that they're active, if it's at the end of the month and you realize that they're not active that month, um, I think it's important to know just to touch face with them with a, a, one, if they've been active a lot and then suddenly they weren't, you might want to be like, hey, is everything okay? You know, do they have something personally going on that they need somebody to reach out and just check in with them? Like, are you okay? Do you need help with anything? Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, but also, you know, it might just be this, okay, maybe they are like, oh, yeah, well, I wanted to take these next two months off because, I, you know, I'm planning my daughter's wedding. You know, I mean, they're just a hobby consultant. That's okay. Um, you know, to be like, okay, if that is what they are verbalizing to you, I want to not get – I want to be really – part-time, like really hobby-ish with this, then you know, okay, I don't need to worry about them. Not that you're not going to help them out, but like that's not where all my energy is going to go. Okay, like they're my, hey, you know, I'll check in with them. 
the people that are saying, I want to fast track to my sales and how do I get more parties? That's where your energy is going to go. Um, we want to help a consultant that maybe just needs the encouragement and the belief and maybe they don't know how to get those sales yet. That might be in our non-active column. But if they're like, oh, yeah, I can get some shows and I'm just, just really busy with work. That is their prerogative, and they are allowed to do that, but that is not where my intention is going to go. Okay, I've got plenty of other people on my team, or I have um, the ability to put my energy into recruiting new people that are going to want to be more active. Okay. Um, and so I was talking with, um, talking with somebody on our team that's uh, not a director. It was really funny because she had asked me a question, and she was like, okay, and you could tell she was trying to be like politically correct. But she just wanted some decent answers. And I was like, here's the deal. I was like, I... And probably one of the more, most loving people you're ever going to meet. I care for people. I care about individuals. Like, but here's the deal. I'm a businesswoman. Cut through the BS and tell me what the problem is so that we can fix it. You know, like, and so, you know, kind of getting that idea of um, how do we look at it with hard numbers? How do we look at it? You can tell me you want to be director all day long, but you only do $500 in sales a month and you don't have any recruits. You're not, you need to change something. Before I tell you about all these other things about being a director, Go get some shows on your calendar and then we'll talk. And I mean, it might sound kind of mean to do that. It's like, if you want, you can tell me I want to work this hard because I want this, you know, like, but if you're not doing anything, like somebody that tells me, you know, three or four months ago, I want a trip. I want a vacation. I want that cruise. And I say, great, this is what you're going to have to do. And then they do $300 in sales. You don't want a cruise. You don't. You don't have someone to give you a trip. You don't work for it. And Pampered Chef trips are earned. They're not awarded. They are not won. They are earned. You do the numbers, you get the prize. Okay. Um, and so, you know, being able to, I want to train you guys to listen to numbers more than listening to um, words. Gabby is a prime example of that. Her numbers were off the charts. Okay. As so obviously, as you can see, we're doing 18,000 in sales in our first 90 days. And I finally was like, are you sure you don't want to be a director? <laughs> and she was like, because I looked at her numbers and not necessarily her words or she wasn't clamoring at me being like hey I want to promote I want to promote how do I promote but I was looking at her numbers and I was looking at her ability and I said do you want this and then I gave her the tools to be able to do it I said this is what you need to do now go do it and she went and did it okay um you know so that prime example of being able to look at numbers and if you have a chart or something like this that is set up um to be able to track I think that you would be able to look at your numbers a little bit more realistically and possibly your team members. And what I don't want to happen is I don't want some of our fast track members to slip through the cracks because we didn't know to tell them about it or they weren't aware enough to be able to do it. So my question is, I don't know how bad, well, okay, and here, Lindsay, you're better with the spreadsheets than I am. Why are these all yelling at me? Why are these all film signs? What is it? All the pound signs here. Like, why aren't they showing me the number? Like, that there's one. Like, the, the values of these boxes are three, five. Make the boxes big. The boxes are too small. Yeah. Just spread it out. Up to the top. Cancel. Oh. Uh, okay, you know what's really sad? Other I do this for a living, by the way. <laughs> But I do, I do everything in Google Docs and uh, the spreadsheet of the Google Sheets or whatever. And for some reason, this just blew my mind. It was like the actual Microsoft Excel. Um, that is funny. I was like, why is it showing me this? Now these are fine. That's hilarious. The problem solved. See, anybody can do this job. Um, okay. But so, so my question to you guys is, I don't want to implement anything that becomes a burden or work, but I do want to highly encourage things that help you guys in tracking and holding you accountable to tracking and growing your teams. Um, and so is this something that uh, you would like me to say, here, let's just share it, and maybe I won't require it, but you can say, hey, individually, hey, Trina, I want you to check my sheets when we meet monthly or hey Trina I want you to check my sheets and you know I'll have them ready every director meeting you know is that something and like I said that's up to you guys is that something that you would like me to do on an individual basis on the team should we say hey let's do this I'm already using that sheet so okay so Brandy's like that's what I'm already doing okay so Brandy's like sure um, I don't know anything about Excel okay Sarah's like I don't know how to okay so maybe 
maybe what I'll do is I'll say through for this month and next month, play around with it. I'll share this sheet with everybody and I'll share it in our director page and things like that for you guys to mess around. Just see how comfortable you can get with just maneuvering it a little bit to see how you can track. Or if you say, hey, here's how I would like to track my sheets and I'll send you a picture or maybe it's done on a whiteboard or something. But um, just some way for you to be able to track your team. One, for your trip points, okay? Um, for them to get their 1250. And here's the deal. Your consultants who hit 1250 in their 30 days, okay, they're gonna like, they're gonna get the itch and go, that was fun. You know what I mean? And then they get the itch to want more. And then they're like, oh my gosh, look at this shopping spree I get. Um, the ones that like after 90 days just barely hit 1250 and then let their website expire, like they're probably done. You know what I mean? Like they're probably done with us. And good or bad, it's kind of those, okay, well, we got our 3,000 points. Okay, well, it was great. And maybe they got us to directorship during that month. That's fantastic. And that is their priority to be able to do that. But we want people on our team that are going to stay okay, um, and be uh, a little bit more consistent for us. Um, okay, so I will send out, I'll send out a couple ideas um, on the page to say, hey, here is this spreadsheet if you would like to use this. Um, and then I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll ask you guys for next director meeting in December just to kind of track and get an idea for where you guys are at as far as um, as far as far uh, promoting directors and things like that. We have several people that are like, hey, I want to fast track. Um, some of you guys that are planning on earning a trip, I've already been pretty keenly in touch with and giving you your numbers. Um, and you guys are pretty um, evident of what you're, what you're shooting for. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about this, you know, for this year. But next year, it'll be really cool for you guys all to be able to start out excuse me, starting a fresh year in January being like, I'm already a director, so I already have a lower trip requirement, and here's, I have got the whole year now to earn these, earn these trip points. Um, so that's kind of nice. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, let's talk about Happy Mail. Okay, that was a big one. Okay, Happy Mail. Tomorrow's the 15th, okay? Let's talk about green by 15 also for a little bit. Okay, my goal of doing green by 15 when I first started it was to try to encourage um, consultants off to a strong start. Because if we can get them to be doing shows in the beginning of the month, okay, then they can book shows for later in the month. If I have a cooking show on the 9th, I can book a November show for the 28th. You know what I mean? Like if I'm holding all my things at the middle, you know, at the end, then I don't necessarily. Now something that is a little bit misleading sometimes with green by 15 if somebody might be hoarding a show and just holding it over to the next month. And so they didn't really actually have a strong start. They just had a be ending to the last month, you know, by, you know, by going over into that. But if we can get our team active and submitting sales by the 15th, then we can get green by the 15th. And then we can focus on developing our team and helping our fast trackers and our new consultants as opposed to us worrying about our team sales. So that is my motivation and idea with that. Let me get back to this country and tell you beautiful places. I'm ready for it. Um, <laughs> there's some glasses, a little bit of face. Um, but so I, I mean, I think for sure we should continue this through the um, end of the year. Um, but I don't know if there's something else that we should consider for a, an incentive for getting green by the 15th. Here's what I'm discovering. Now that people are able to turn in their cards, because we've been doing this for several months, I lost mine. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to keep it. Can you just go in and look to see if I, I can? Is that a way bigger pain in the butt for me to do than for you to just take a photo of your three cards? It sure is. Or even some of them are saying they're not getting them. And I'm like, well, I know I sent it. Because like when I tag people in my post saying, hey, they're getting a green by 15, I don't do it from a report. I do it from the postcards. So like they were in the stack. And it's not like I like reduced the wayside. But I'm like, okay, are they so thin? They're getting lost. So um, those of you that are new, when you promoted, um, I did your, like, um, Abby and Marie, I did your guys' happy mail that month because you promoted. I don't know. I assume that you guys, yeah, I'd say Lindsay and um, Stephanie did. Sarah's. So those of you that are four new, this will be your first month of doing Green by 15 and happy mail. For green by 15, I literally just take the picture and I print it four to a page on a piece of cardstock. And then I just send it out. Um, you know, cut them in for whatever, put their address in, postcard stamps, a little bit cheaper, and then I send them out. Um, and then happy mail is at the end of the month for anybody who's green. So if they received a green by the 15, they will also be receiving a happy mail. So that helps you track. Um, and then uh, really you're checking your reports tomorrow and trying to send them out on the 16th. 
Now here is what I um, want to encourage you guys to do. And if you want to stay a strong director, keep up with the happy mail. Okay, because here's the deal. Okay, people that are sending out their happy mail late or aren't sending it out, you know what their team members are doing? I'm still waiting for mine. Hey, did I get my happy mail? You know, because they're seeing an entire organization that's getting something, and then they're looking at their director going, oh, I guess I didn't get my, you know what I mean? Like it is, it is relatively significant to try to get those sent out in a timely manner. Um, does it take a little bit of, you know, figuring out? Sure does. Okay. Uh, but several of you guys, I mean, some of you guys, it's three, four hundred dollars probably added to your paycheck for your directorship bonuses. So I sit there and think, okay, it takes a long time. Okay. But okay, so it takes me two hours to do Happy Mail. We'll just throw that number out for you because okay, your teams are growing and we're hoping that it takes you a while. It takes you two hours to do Happy Mail. Okay. If I were to say, I will pay you $150 an hour to do these letters, would you tell me no? No, of course you'd be like, got any more? I'll do some more. 150 bucks an hour. Okay. Um, because it is super motivating to our team. And I kind of do it as like, a, I fought it. Okay, my friends Sarah and Melody, or my friends Rachel and Melody, I was like, I don't want to do it. It's going to cost a lot of money. Like, and I don't know if I'm going to see a return. I think this is silly and I, don't, I just don't want to do it. And I was like, I think I need to do it. And it was amazing, I think, the impact that it had. And I'm not going to lie, the happy meal that I got made me feel really good. <laughs> I was like, oh, happy meal is fun. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> So I was like, and it was interesting for me to even see that from my point of view, being like, okay, that is significant. It gives you that little pat on the back that, you know, just even for your teammates and people that more personally know you, uh, that there's something significant. Um, there were a couple of people that commented that I sent out, but they were like, you know what, thank you. Or they sent me a message being like, I wasn't feeling like I was doing that great because they are seeing a lot of heavy hitters. Okay? It is really important that you let those people that maybe are only doing two or $300 in sales, but that's a big deal to them, that you celebrate that with them. Okay. That you track, hey, you hit your 1250, good job. Or like, hey, you recruited somebody, you're a senior consultant, that's amazing. Because they might only be seeing, oh, I, it, what I did wasn't important because it's, you know, it's a big deal about directors. Okay. Um, you guys coming in and being such heavy hitters um, makes some of those other things possibly seem insignificant. And we want to hoot and holler for those senior consultants. We want to hoot and holler for 15,000 in career sales. We want to hoot and holler for um, team leader status because those are going to be the people that are going to turn into our directors. And if we don't celebrate those small victories with them, then I think that's going to happen. So um, you will be looking at your reports and as much as possible getting that happy mail sent in the mail on the first. Um, so we want, to we want to decide as a group, we try to do for the most part kind of the same thing. So someone's not like, well, how come that one got like shoes and I got a sticker. Okay. And we try to do something that's flat and inexpensive to mail and cutesy. So that's why we had done like fall stickers and stuff like that before. Um, I was thinking, was it November? Do we want to do like um, a packet of like um, apple cider? Like, you know, like that, like a little packet of apple cider, something that's kind of practical for them to use. I would think that that would be relatively, it should be flat and I think that that should ship. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. That's one thing. I'm thinking if we do apple cider and then maybe if we do hot cocoa in Oh. December. Well, wait, here's a good question. Okay, maybe we should wait for the cider or the cocoa to do that for December Happy Mail. Do we want to do something Christmas themed? Because it'll be mailed December 1st. And then maybe the January 1st one should be like a hot cocoa or something like that. So what would we, what, what would be something cutesy that's Christmas themed? Hmm. That's flat, so like not like a candy cane because that'll arrive to them in 5,000 pieces. <laughs> And I'm like, and we try to do something that obviously isn't super like expensive, but something that's like kind of practical. Like we're like, here, pumpkin stickers. They can stick this on their host packets that are going out, you know, or their prize packages or whatever. Um, address labels here. They can use those. What about like a sugar scrub? Like a what? Like a sugar scrub or like a peppermint. Like, I mean, you could package that fairly flat, right? Oh, like a, like, um, like a body scrub, like a peppermint body scrub. Yeah. Something oh, yeah. that like, Peppermint smelling. I don't know how easy that is, but yeah, it would be flat. Have, yeah, what would they have? I think they have like, um, all you have to do to make that would be to use Epsom salts and you put some peppermint oil in there, or you could use eucalyptus oil and you mix a little bit of like, you could put a little olive oil in there. God bless Marie. She makes everything. And I'm like, what do they have at the dollar store? 
the thought of like homemade crafts like blows my mind. Oh, I made I made those for Christmas gifts. Um, and then I will say that Marie, I will say you more power to you. Your team will get a homemade essential oils peppermint scrub. Mine will probably be getting some of that. Out. What do you guys think about that? Is that? But anybody could do that. I, I, I am aware I can. <laughs> I, I, did, I will not. And it doesn't have to be peppermint. You can use any kind of oil scent. Right. Yeah, peppermint. Something peppermint is kind of cute. Like, what if we did holiday window clings? Well, there's, um, I think there's, um, a peppermint patty. No, I think at Walmart, they have like, um, like facial scrub packages that are individual packages. That, like, it's like a little sample package almost. Mm -hmm. You can buy, um, yeah, I think they have, I think they have those. I don't know if they'd have a peppermint smell, but even, or if they do it, like we could do even, even if we can't find a peppermint one, maybe we like go for the peppermint. You don't want to put peppermint by, by your eyes. Not too close to your eyes. That will burn. What kind of sandwich goes to Walmart right now? Okay. Well, do we want to do a facial or what would be a cute gingerbread? How about a peppermint patty? Oh, a York peppermint patty. That's kind of fun. Let's question the mail. Because I was saying I don't like bigger ones, Bill. I don't know. I think that might make it. <laughs> we can mail something to ourselves. I'm going to mail. I'm, I'll pick one of you to mail a peppermint patty to see what turns out. Because <laughs> okay, the biggest thing that we want to try to figure out is we want to come up with something. Because last time that we waited and said, like, hey, let's come up with something later, then we were all scrambling at the end of the month because we're like, oh, crap, we need to come up with something. Well, how about the little peppermint lifesavers? Oh, that would be cute. Maybe a couple mints in there, like the peppermint lifesavers, and be like, you're a lifesaver, way to make. And lifesavers even has a cutesy. Okay, I like that. How's that? This is Happy Mail, right? It's for Happy Mail, yeah. For November. For us. Yep, and so it'll be mailed out December 1st. Okay, so I like that. And I will come up with a little picture for you guys to be able to print off. And so the goal is for it to be easy. Now, if you don't have a ton of team members and you have the ability to really personalize the cards, I do think that, that makes a significant difference. But like on some of mine, I try to make sure that I hit, um, and it's not that I'm not trying to be personal, but I mean, I've got about 40 that I send out. Um, and so that I, you know, that I'm trying to be like, hey, you know, like I hit a, hey, congratulations on hitting team leader next month director, you know, like, hey, great job in qualifying. Sometimes it might just be way to have a great month. You know, like, wait, you know, and then the card itself has the cutesy little saying of like, um, you're a lifesaver for our team goals, you know, or something like that. Um, and it'd be kind of cutesy. That's cute, that'll be fun. And then maybe January we can do like a hot cocoa packet or something like that um, for their December sales. Okay, so that'll be the goal. And so kind of keep that in your mind and already start working in your brain. Like, do you want to start doing envelopes now? Do you, you know, like I said, I mean, for, for right now, none of you should have such huge numbers of activity. Um, that the bonuses are huge. And kind of keep in mind that um, for every person that's active on your team, you're getting $10, a $10 activity bonus, okay? So like, it's kind of like, hey, you know, like maybe we gave $1.50 of that back. You know what I mean? Like to this happy mail. But I've just noticed your guys' productivity is through the roof. You know what I mean? Like watching uh, the sales and things like that. I think it is just really intrinsically motivating to our team members to see this. Somebody noticed and took notice to me, even though I wasn't a heavy hitter. Maybe I only did 300 in sales. Maybe I didn't even get, you know, $1,000 in sales right now. Is the um, when, you're, when each team member submits $1,000 in November, they're going to get 25 paper chuck dollars. Okay. So maybe they're like, well, I didn't get that. You know, I didn't get noticed for top five. I didn't get, but I got happy mail. That's a big deal. You know what I mean? It helps them know that they are a significant part of our team. And I think that that's important. Um, okay. Happy mail, tracking, vision board. Those were the three main ones that I wanted to hit. Especially, okay, especially newbies. Do you guys have any questions for us? Like, hey, what am I doing? What's going on? Marie. Yes, Marie. Um, yeah, where do I get the ribbons? Okay, yes. I got the ribbons from um, a lady that, um, and, I, I like, and I ran out of ribbons, so I need to order more because some of you guys have not gotten your director ribbons yet. <laughs> um, but for, I got them from like, just from some lady that retired from Pampered Chef and I bought them online. But uh, there is a site that I am designing some right now <laughs> that if it turns out like just the price range and kind of what they look like turns out to be okay, then I will send you guys the link to be like, hey, here's what I use. You can do whatever you want. Um, again, don't feel that that's a mandatory thing. I do think that they liked it, though. 
I mean, I, it was, it's kind of funny watching someone be like, my first ribbon. I think Lindsay showed us in her office. She had them all out there. I was like, oh, see, every month when I do those ribbons, I'm like, people probably have to sew these away. And they do not care. And then watching that it is making, you know, maybe some of them don't care, but it's making a significant enough impact on other people. Or you can do a certificate or, you know, I mean, something like that. But if you have something like that that you are willing or wanting to do, I do think that it's significant, especially because we are virtual. And so a lot of those hoo-hahs can't happen in person. We were tipping, you know, we could give them some flowers or, a, you know, a little balloon you know, or something like that that we could do in person. Um, those ribbons that we can do kind of far away um, are significant. So, okay. Now, <clears throat> something that I would like to do, and I kind of, uh, some of you guys, I have individual treks, and most of you guys connect with me. Um, on a pretty regular basis. But if you're saying, hey, like, I mean, Steph and I have a, you know, like a, hey, we've, you know, try to connect, <clears throat> you know, one, at least once a month, but even connecting with her, talking about her trip points. Um, Marie, I know, has a plan for her trip points. Sarah, I just talked with her about her trip points today. Um, Abby and Lindsay, I know, are kind of going for that. Um, Brandy, I haven't looked at your trip points, but I would assume that you and Lindsay are tracking those at the wazoo. Um, I'll, 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 I'll mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it's going to be tough. I started in late August, so I think I'm around 18 or 19,000. You know, it, it's, I haven't put it out of possibility, but it's a, that would be really cool, but I'm not going to get upset if it doesn't happen. I, I started not, too late to say I failed if I don't meet this goal. Oh, yes. There is nothing wrong with being, it was kind of like last year. I remember, I mean, like, and I had no excuse for not doing it. I was in it for a year. I was just lazy for six months. Um, but last year I ended up being able to earn Austin, which was great. That was level one. And all my friends were going on level two. Everybody else was going to Atlantis. And I was like, mm, that's no offense. Um, but I was like, you know what? I am going to celebrate what I have done. And there is nothing. I was like, and I looked at my numbers and I was like, could I get there? Yes. Did I want to do the work to get there? No. Like the honest truth was no. I was very content with what I had already achieved and with what my goals were. And there was next year. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, do not feel, it's just once you get on the director track and you guys did it so fast, it was one of those, don't put it out of your mind because you just recruited five people. If all of them qualified, that was 15,000 points. You just suddenly doubled your points, you know, out of nowhere, you know? Um, and some of you guys have people that want to promote. Well, there's another 3,000 points. You know what I mean? So some of those things, I just want to make sure that you guys at least know where to track and how to track. Um, the new trip will be revealed on December 5th to our team. You will all get an email and access to the information on December 2nd. Okay. Um, so make sure that you are tracking. It is top secret. You don't tell your teammates. Honestly, you might not, I don't know. Like as long as your husband isn't going to go blab to somebody, okay, go and tell him. But, um, you know, like it's, it's very, a very big deal to make sure that that does not leak out on any Facebook group or anything like that, that, anything else like that that you might be in, or just someone, oh, I thought she was the director. It was just a friend I met, you know, somewhere else. Like just on December 5th. We will be doing our launch meeting um, from Facebook Live, and I'll try to zoom it in so we can screen share, and I think I, should be able to, I think I should be able to do it from my computer, maybe, I don't know. I'll try to figure out something that we can kind of do an all-team launch. And if you are local and wanting to do your own team, you know, people are nearby December 5th, would be the day to do that. That is the company-wide trip launch date um, for those. Um, other than that, next month, I do not plan on scheduling a third time canceled cooking show on our director meeting night. Um, but let's double check the dates. Okay, um, Tuesday, December 13th will be the tip of the date for our director meeting. Is that... I think that, I mean, that's before the shipping cutoff and stuff like that. I think that's a good date to help everybody kind of regroup before it's over. Okay, so Tuesday, December 13th, kind of get that on your calendars now. Of course, I'll send out some reminders. Um, I am also trying to do, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to do Zoom trainings every Thursday um, the best that I can. Um, if I don't have shows or different things like that, um, the next one is a, ever next, oh, that's two days from now. I don't know. When is that? The 17th. The so 17th, I have one, and I changed it from booking, a booking blitz to fundraisers because I think that that was more um, relevant for some of our teammates at the time. So I was like, I mean, not that bookings aren't always relevant, but that was something that uh, four or five of you guys have asked me about. Um, and so I changed that your training to that. Um, good, better, otherwise, also, if you can get your teammates to those trainings, man, it fires them up. 
Yeah, it really does. We had a lot of team members on our Zoom call uh, because Judy Joel was going to be there. And good, bad, or otherwise, I feel like they kind of got tricked into having to be there for the vendor training because they thought that they maybe could be like, well, I'm here for the celebration. Oh, I got to peace out. Um, but then a bunch of them were like, man, I'm really glad I came. Like, that was, it's way different to be connected and getting that information firsthand than to say, oh, I'll watch that recording at some time. I like me, it doesn't happen. Okay. Or if you are watching the recording, you're also doing dishes or you're on the treadmill or you're watching your kid. You know, I mean, it's not, you're not fully engaged. Um, so if you can encourage them uh, to be there, that would be awesome. Okay, other than that, it is already 9.08. I know I am yawning because I've been going non stuff. I think Stephanie is about to pass out on my kitchen table. I didn't even offer her caffeine or wine because I was so out of it. I just ran through the door and was cutting out your guys' pictures. Um, other than that, we do have our director page. I do have you guys on a director page. I know there's a lot of group pages to be able to kind of keep track of, but there are some things that are going to be exclusive information for you guys that I don't want to post on the Gold Crushers page, and so I'll try to put that information there. Um, so if you need help trying to find that or if you ever have a question, please let me know. Um, other than that, I'm proud of you guys. We're already at, I think, 50000 in sales for the month, okay, and our goal was one fifty. Okay, That's what we had stretched it to, being like, hey, here's what we've got going on. Um, I think you guys can totally do it. Um, and you guys are all trying to be green by Thanksgiving, right? So I don't have to have a heart attack. Our goal. Yeah. Are you working on that? Okay. Um, so remember, in order for us to officially become an executive team, all um, eight of our all nine of us, okay, all nine of us have to be green. And so that means you have to have 750 in sales personally. And as a team, you have to have 5,000. Um, Lindsay and Stephanie, your guys' requirements are a little bit different. But Lindsay, you've already hit yours and you're about to. Yeah, I'm like, you're about to make a second, so. Um, Brandy and Sarah, thank you for already being green. And Lindsay, thank you for already being green. No heart attack here. You're on my love you so much list. Um, not that I don't love the rest of you, but I'm like, oh, good. I can't go. um, yeah, you guys are rocking it. I'm super, super proud of you. So make sure that you guys message me things if you have ideas. Um, I know today, because there were four of you that were new, we kind of touched a lot on like, hey, by the way, here's what it is to be a director. Um, so not a ton of new information. And sometimes we do venting sessions. So next December, we'll try to make sure that at our next meeting, we'll try to do a venting session where this is a safe space to um, not call people out necessarily by name, but to be like, so I have this one consultant and they're driving me crazy. Okay. And, or they're doing this or they're being negative this way. How do I encourage them this way? Or they say this, but they're doing this other. Because this should be that safe spot to be able to do that where we understand each other. Um, one thing that I've, always say is you always um, vomit up or across you don't vomit down okay so you don't talk to your downline even if you're really close friends like you know you don't uh, you don't talk to your downline about someone else you know you talk to either a sister director or you talk to me you know what I mean like to be like hey this person's driving me bananas okay because I, that's a, I'm a safe space to vent through kind of like I said what the other consultant was like okay so don't judge me but they have groups and things that are happening it's like no problem let's get down to the nitty-gritty let's get some information um, and go to town. Um, but so yes, yeah, so because you do, you need that. You need that safe space to be able to um, kind of scream out loud and then be like, okay, I just needed to feel like I told somebody so that it didn't come out in the wrongs. Um, okay, any other questions? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is totally not related to director business, but I had a customer who ordered the large sheet pan and the large covering store, and the covering store lid is significantly larger, she says, than her sheet pan. The large she sent me a picture. Yeah, she sent me a picture, and it overlaps. It doesn't click into place. Like, it is a little bit bigger, but maybe like a half an inch around all the edges bigger. I've got a large lid downstairs. Oh, I don't have a large sheet pan. That's probably why it's still in this package. Um, I was like, good to know. I asked live chat, and they said that that was normal because the lid is made to fit multiple pans. Right. The large, but it should still be. Um, the large one doesn't really like the the medium one fits on the brownie pan, the cake pan, the muffin pan. So that one's a little bit more like a little bit weirder. But the right. large one should be pretty like. Hey, it's over it and it's airtight. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Does yours have any like extra air or anything? You know, when you get home, can you remember to take a picture of it and post it? Uh, I'll send you a picture of the picture she sent me too. Yeah, because I've had some people that they've just had because like the sometimes like the lids on them when they fit different pans, the gray parts are supposed to snap and go upside down. 
And right. so that makes a difference on how tight it is because they have it on the wrong setting. Okay. Well, I'll send you a picture and then maybe, maybe it's fine and she just doesn't think it is. So. Right. And if she doesn't think it is, they're like, I'll return it. I don't care. It doesn't come out of our commission. It doesn't come out of the host sale. Nothing like that. It doesn't affect us at all. Right. We get customers, which we're really grateful for because some direct sales company, uh, they take the commission away from the return. Um, can't uh, another question. I have not ever kept my green cards. Whoops. So, <laughs> yeah. So I haven't ever redeemed those, but whenever we send those out with happy mail, mm -hmm. how do we redeem them once they cash them in? My vision was that they would take a picture and cause you write in September, October, November or whatever. So you would see your handwriting. You would see three separate cards with each of the months. I take a picture. I'd be like, right. sweet. I would mark them off as cashed in. You know what I mean? And Kind of they'd be on their way. My friend Melody, she does instead of she's like, yeah, she's like green by fifteen. She goes, those just turned into too big of a pain. And so what she did is she just did a drawing for everybody that submitted five hundred by the fifteenth. And I was like, oh, that's interesting because I was like, it was instead of just coming up with like a little piddly a couple orders, it was like, here's the deal: you had to have a party and a decent party. And then she made the um, drawing be. Um, each month the drawing was, you know, $25 with a free products or, you know, something like that. And I was like, that sounds a lot easier to keep track of because it's, once it's in, it's done. But kind of like that idea. I don't want to change anything until the first of the year. And just to kind of get feedback from you guys on kind of what your thoughts are with that. Um, I know Rachel does a drawing tracker and you get points based on basically participation. So like if you show up to team meeting, you get 25 points or submitting sales. I don't know if it's a dollar a point or I'm not sure. You'll have to talk to Rachel, but no, does she do she like, like a ticket every meeting. point or is it like the person with the most points wins? No. And then you're entered into a drawing. So obviously the more you participate, the more entries you get. Gotcha. Okay. I'll have to ask her how she does that too, because like Which, I said, it's specific. Cause the, the, the goal behind the green by the 15 is to specifically focus on the strong start. You know, that right. they are getting, that they are motivated to get green by the 15th so that we can get green by the 15th, so that we can focus on supporting our team the rest of the way instead of like struggling to make sure that we've hit our director goal. Um, and so like I said, I just, those thoughts are in my head because now that, like I said, they were all well and dandy until everybody, then it's time to redeem them and everybody's like, ah, what am I, you know, so I was like, ah, I wonder. Especially the ones that are like, I never even got mine. It's not even, I didn't keep it. They're like, I didn't get it. And they're like, but I was tagged in the post. Like, so, and I'm like, what do you mean you didn't get it? I'm like, where's it going? <laughs> it's like, are you going to get, am I going to get it returned to me, shredded in a little envelope like they send you sometimes, being like, sorry, the machine ate this. Um, I was like, okay, maybe I need to come up with something that is not as. I wonder if we tedious. did like, um, we created a green by 15 album or something on the group page and you would post the green by 15 with their names for the month, green by 15 for November, December, whatever. And then well, it, that's a, it would be there on the page and then it would be up to them to go to the album and track that they have three of them and tag you maybe in that, in that photo. That's a good point. Maybe even just doing it something virtually. So, okay. So that's a question because like the, some of the premise of it was supposed to be the excitement of getting the card in the mail, but I don't think people are caring about it because they're just throwing it away. So like part of it was supposed to be like, yeah, I got another little piece of happy mail that recognized me, but I don't think it's necessarily having that effect. So maybe we should just track it virtually. Maybe have the same incentives and the same goals for it, but maybe do a virtual tracker. Maybe. I mean, we're posting in the, in the group anyway, that so-and-so is green. And, and if it came in the mail with, I don't know, even a stick of gum, then maybe, but it's just a postcard. They are setting it to the side or their husband, it's in the floorboard of their husband's truck. That's where all those that they didn't get, they're in the floorboard of the car or, you know, whatever. Right. And so, I mean, I don't know. That was just an no, idea of how. I, mean, I think that's very too, because like I said, I think it is. I think the, the desire that I had for it was it was going to cause that excitement of getting something in the mail. But it is just a postcard. It's not the happy mail. It's not that, oh, maybe I got a $5 gift card. Oh, new directors. I do ask you if you would, um, when you do your happy mail, um, to put at least one random $5 um, Amazon gift card. Or, I mean, you can do Starbucks forever. I do Amazon just because that seems to be the most universal and helpful. Um, in your items, like if you have six people that are 
um, green, one person would end up with like the big prize. I think that that helps people because some people are like, oh, it was just pumpkin stickers. I don't care if I was green, then maybe I won't work for it. I think it kind of gets them in the mindset like maybe I'll be a, maybe I'll be a, um, maybe I'll be an Amazon card winner or whatever. Because that ensures, because I send out five to my personal team, that ensures that at least, like, at least one person from every director team gets, um, gets an Amazon. Um, so, I mean, like I said, that's something that I would, um, I'm not going to force you to spend $5, but I'm going to highly encourage you as part of our team culture that that's what we're doing um, to please do that. Okay. I like that idea, Brandy, because I think you're right. I think it's like, it's not the purpose that it was supposed to have. It's not there. It works very well for the Happy Mail, but it doesn't really matter for the postcards. And so maybe just tracking um, green by 15. And I can do that even with it being just on the thing and I can just search green by 15. And I'd be able to pull up in the search group one, two, three, you know, okay, they, they um, did those and I can have them fill out a Google form or whatever so that I can track, yep, they, you know, what months are you collecting? And that'll be easier for me to, for us to track. Okay. I like that thought. That's a good thought. Okay. I will let you guys go. And um, if you have other questions, let me know or post in um, the director page or message me. Other than that, good night. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you guys investing your time. Good to meet with you guys. Bye.